Isaiah chapter 5 verse 8 whoa and when the Bible says whoa you expect a horse you're coming to a bridge that's out you expect to tell that horse whoa and that horse stop if you ain't got Pegasus you ain't gonna fly off that that broken bridge you're gonna go for a fall and when God tells you whoa so he's found in the, in the tribulation period there are three woes so where are the woes there are six woes upon Israel woe unto them that join house to house now that's interesting overcrowding apartment houses trail apart the house is so close together you can open up the window, reach out, and touch your neighbor's nose. I remember one time we were living in a trail park. It was so close. It was a summer night. Windows were open and all that. We were just, just talking. Couldn't sleep. Lying in bed just talking, husband and wife. And the neighbor screams out the window, Shut up! That's too close. That lay field to field. You should have a little space. That's not how things are today. Your land is right abutted against someone else's land. Then you got to build fences. Till there be no place. Well, there are still places that, you know, there are trees and forests and woods. That they may be placed alone in the midst of the earth. And read Micah 2 verses 1 and 2 and Acts 17 26 there, there is a time that you need to be alone get off away from people away from traffic away from lights away from it all and be alone with God and those places are hard to find in my ears say the Lord of hosts of a truth many houses shall be desolate even great and fair without inhabitants. Foreclosure. They've gone to Babylon. Nebuchadnezzar destroys Jerusalem. But there are still cities in Judah. And there's, there's still be places where you know where there's empty houses. Burnt out houses. No one living in them. Yea. Ten acres of vineyard. And we talked about the vineyard in, in ver, ver, chapter 5, verses 1 to 7. Ten acres of a vineyard shall yield one bath. And that's not much. You're not getting your full. And that's exactly what we talked about in chapter 1, verses 1 through 7. And the seed of a homer shall yield an ephah. You're not getting all you should get. They're rebelling against God. Whoa! They're serving other gods. They're not going to get blessed. Woe. Number two. Unto them that rise up early in the morning. To go to work. That they may follow strong drink. Uh oh. Gotta get up early in the morning. Get... I knew another guy one time. He, he'd wake up early in the morning. Have a cup of coffee. And the rest of his entire day was booed. Bible says, whoa, this is substance abuse. You got overcrowding, verse 8, and substance abuse in verse 11. That they may follow strong drink, that continue unto night, till wine inflame them. Wow. There are some people that are so loaded with intoxicated liquors, if they were to be thrown in hell, there'd be a blue flame for a moment. And I'm not joking. I'm not joking. And the harp, and the viol, violin, the tabret, and pipe, jukebox, radio, music, ra uh, tape, CD, and wine. You go to some places and you go to a bar, they got a band, a jukebox, somebody playing music. 
are in their feast. Well, they just had this, this big NASCAR thing here, and there was alcohol, and there was all kinds of music. So it's still true to 2015. But they regard not the work of the Lord. They don't care about the Lord. They don't care about his word. They don't care about what he says. They don't care about judgment. How many people stopped when we, with all the preaching that was done to them at, at this, this big race over here? How many stopped and asked, what does God expect from me? Does God really approve of me going to this place? You think God is happy that I skipped church to be here? No, not a one. Neither consider the operation of his hands, God's hands. They don't care. In fact, they say evolution did it. Faith did it. Good luck did it. Anything but God did it. Therefore, my people are going into captivity. Hasn't happened yet. Israel is gone already. Jerusalem and Judah will be next. Because they have no knowledge. They know nothing. I bet you they had doctorates. I bet you they had schools. But they didn't know nothing about God and judgment. And their honorable men are famished. They're without food. They're without knowledge. They know nothing. They're starving. Famished. Famine. And their multitude dry up with thirst. Proverbs 13, 13. Physical and spiritual. Overcrowding, verse 8. Substance abuse, verse 11. And verse 13. They know nothing. America knows nothing. But yet she's got all these colleges. She knows nothing. She don't even know who her enemy is. She doesn't even know who the right God is, but in God we trust. God bless America. Therefore, hell has enlarged herself. Hell, hell grows. Amos 811. And opens her mouth without measure. I've always wondered when these volcanoes explode, is that hell growing? Earthquake, oh, all these plates are on there. No, maybe it's hell enlarging herself. I wonder if it's filled the void of J of Abraham's bosom yet. Because Abraham's bosom is gone. Enlarge herself. She's getting bigger. She's getting fatter. All these people are born to go to hell upon their death and their glory. Look how great we are. The glory of, of Babylon, Revelation speaks about. And she's fallen. She's gone. And their multitude, the population, and their pomp, you know, the great show they put on, the great things, the Olympics, the, the sporting, and the, the kings, and the queens, and all their parties, and all their romance, and all their all. And he that rejoices, shall descend into it. Into what? Into hell. And the mean man. Urgh, no. Get out of my yard. No, that's, not, not, that's not the mean man. Shall be brought down. Alright. So he's not down. He's up. And the contrast, the mighty man shall be humbled. Pride because, you know, be all you can be. Marine pride. The eyes of the lofty shall be humble. God hates pride. And he'll bring you down. But the Lord of hosts shall be exalted in judgment. God is to be lifted up. Not man. 
You know, I, I've been writing these things on Facebook lately. Christians are putting more faith in voting for men than they are praying to God. And a lot of people have been liking that. Got to go and vote. What about got to go out and pray? How about if every Christian didn't vote this year or vote when Obama gets out of office? Why don't we don't vote and we just get on our knees and pray to God and let God put somebody in the office that he wants? You know, Matthew chapter 4 and Luke chapter 4, Satan says, I can give that power to anybody I want, and Jesus Christ does not rebuke him, and you may be voting for Satan's man. And God that is holy, uh, the glory, the multitude, the pomp, and he that rejoices, the mean man, the mighty man, they're not holy. There is none righteous, no, not one shall be sanctified in righteousness. God will do right. Then shall the lambs feed after their manner. No shepherd. And the waste places of the fat ones shall strangers eat. The land's going to be destitute. It's going to be burnt. Read about Nehemiah. I mean, uh, yeah, Nehemiah, when he hears the word in chapter 1, he breaks into prayer and crying because the city is destroyed. And he gets the word. Woe unto them that draw iniquity with cords of vanity. Vanity is nothing. And sin, as it were, a cart rope, burden, tied up, bondage. That's what you use cords and rope for bonding, binding. Ecclesiastes chapter 4, 12, Proverbs 5, 22, Jeremiah 14, 10. They were bound when they went to Babylon. They say, as Jeremiah 17, 15, 2 Peter 3, 3 and 4. They say, let him... God, let him make speed and hasten his work that we may see it. Go ahead, God. Judge us. Ooh. Ooh. What could be worse than that? Let his blood be upon us and our children. Ooh. Watch what you say. And let the counsel of the Holy One of Israel draw nigh and come, that we may know it. Oh, yeah, okay. And your cities destroyed, and Daniel, Meshach, and the, 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 the power's children are made eunuchs, are serving another king that's not Jewish. And in chapter 1 of Daniel, are, we're supposed to be made like Babylonians. Get rid of the Jewish heritage. Thank God God stepped in. Woe, verse 20, unto them that call evil good and good evil. How dare you not make a cake for a sodomite marriage? How dare you not make a flower arrangement for sodomites to get married? Oh, that's so bad! America is there. It's redefined sin. It's an affair. It's substance abuse. No, it is sin. That put darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. There's no true standard. And woe to be you that has a doctor that operates over you under these standards. Oh, look at this little piece of thing I found in the box. You don't need that. You can throw it out. Doctor, the patient's dead. Oh, what is he dead for? You don't get no heartbeat. What happened? I found this thing went boom, boom, boom. I just cut it out. I didn't think it was good. You don't need a heart. I didn't need that thing. Our jails are filled with people who are evil and they're thought to be good. You know, they're, they're you know, consequences of environment. They don't know better. 
We'll call the correction and not one person comes out corrected. They come out worse. Oh, you Bible thumper. You, you're a meanie. Judge not, least she be judged. Like some plate thing said today, you know, only God could judge me. You fool. Paul told you you're supposed to judge yourself. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes. Proverbs 3 3, Romans 1 22, and 12 16. Who are you to tell me? And prudent in their own sight. Not God, not the Bible, not the standard, but them. And there are men behind the pulpit. Verse 21. There are there are teachers in cemeteries and seminaries, what do you want to call them? That the instructors are verse 21. Hey, they're so wise they can correct the word of God. Imagine if you had a doctor with these well, you know, had a doctor he, he uh he gets up early in the morning, drink strong, drink all the way to even. I'd like to have a doctor like that. Uh, are you uh, ready? <laughs> Uh, I'm the best. You don't need that body part, as I already said. Don't tell me. Don't tell me you. you don't tell me your symptoms. Don't tell me. You, I know what's good for you. A couple doctors like that in my lifetime. Whoa. Unto them that are mighty to drink wine. Look how many I can drink. <laughs> you know, they have contests in bar rooms. Who can drink the most? Who can drink the biggest pitcher? We just had a woe about drinking verse 11, verse 22, 11 and 11. And men of strength to mingle strong drink. Look what I can drink. Look what I can take. Which justify the wicked for reward, leadership, and take away the righteous of the righteous from him. They give the wicked a reward. They take care of the wicked and the righteous. They remove. They try to get rid of. This will be the next state for America. America is fallen in the ways of Judah and Israel. Will there be persecution with the Bible and Christians? Definitely. We're there. Well, listen to me. We're done for today. Let's talk about current events. A person starts their own business. Pays their taxes, pays their employees, gets the licenses they need, obeys the law that they need, and they have convictions about God in the Bible. And the government steps in and says, unless you do that for the sodomite marriage, we're going to send you to school to make you, oh, Daniel chapter 1, we're going to make you go to school to be like us. Did you get that? And from now on, your entire business is going to take care of those people. Because how dare you? If not, you just close up your business. Businesses were closed up in Jerusalem and Judah when Nebuchadnezzar came in. And then you fall down and worship the golden image. Shadrach, Meshach, and go. You better not pray, Daniel. We'll get the furnace and we'll get the lions. Oh, we're getting ready. We're heading to the. We're heading down the, the final front. We're coming around the last bend. Where there be will there be persecution in America for the Bible belief? There already is, and they think they do it in God's service. Jesus said. 
It says, therefore, as the fire devoureth the stubble, uh oh, that's a loss at the judgment seat of Christ. And the flame consumeth the chaff, that's a loss at the judgment seat of Christ. So their root, your foundation shall be as rottenness. You ain't going to grow nothing. And their blossom shall go up as dust. Blossom's not a flower. It's just the beginning. Because they have cast away the law of the Lord of hosts and despised the word of the Holy One of Israel. Now, we're not under the law, but America despises the word. And what do you think America is going to get? God bless America? I don't think so.